What's up everyone, welcome to the second 2018 Halloween special of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm your host, Animation Rewind, and if you're new to this series, be sure to check out the latest Rewind Rumble, but if you've seen that and you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. Tonight we have a full scale war between Team Creepypasta and Team Indie Horror. Now let's not beat around the bush and get straight into the roster for both teams. For Team Creepypasta, we have Slenderman, Sonic EXE, Vengeance Mountina, Black Jester, Zelda, Algo, Red, Tails Doll, Jeff the Killer, Possessed Naruto, Hero Brian, Jane the Killer, Killager, Soul Lust Pac Man, Piplo.exe, Master Bloody X, 66, Crazy Meat Hacker, Hunger, The Tube Cleaner, Eyeless Jack, Green Ghast, Morning Wood, Mega Man.exe.exe, Ben Drowned, and Mr. Bear. And for Team Indie Horror, we have Baldy, Bendy, Alice Angel, Freddy Fazbear, SCP 682, Error Sands, Mama. Tattletail, Foxy the Pirate Fox, Purple Guy, Victor, Golden Freddy, The Neighbor, It's a Bully, SCP-049, Monica, Yandere Chan, Boris, SCP-096, The Puppet, Bonnie the Bunny, Granny, Sammy Lawrence, SCP-173, The Batter, and Duck Season Dog. These are your teams. Many of the characters have made previous appearances, so you can learn about them in there, but for the new characters, check the link down below to a special Google Doc written by the MLG of a slash Biff Weed. Please check it out and give it a good read, but if you know who these guys are, then let's not waste any more time and get straight into the fight. Oh. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place on Earth, and remember, there is no prep time. Let the battle begin! Mama. <laughs> you don't know me. Yes, I win. My name is Jeff. And I thought I was ugly. Look at you. Say that! Have to make this quick, they might be monitoring. Don't tell Carl. Oh, shit! Don't tell Carl about this. That's okay, I'm I am the Orange Diamond. Oh no! You're handing your glove now. <laughs> Shut the fuck up!
fight.
So, do you still want to win? <laughs> Is that all you've got? Give me something great. Hey, what's going on? Noni! Let's go do can glide, and he can dig. Alright! You son of a bitch! Darn it, not too shabby. Twins, how's the sucking business? You're the other one who sucks! Oh shit!
先代のどのほかげをも超えてやることを自分を信じてみようと思うんだほかげになる男だってばよ何Security for this place must be a joke. It took me 8.2 seconds to enter this ghetto Chuck E. Cheese. That was too easy! Did Barney take a huge purple dump on your body or something? at this moment that Nathan knew he fucked up.
Hopefully you enjoyed that animation, and if you did, super special thanks to Josh Medley, Larry Winwood, The White Fang, your favorite Canadian YouTuber, A, Brendan V, Kernan King, Stealth Zombie Snake, MLG Avocado slash Biff Weed, FNAF House, and Anthony Stallings. I'd also like to thank Huntsman Draconia and Miss X for helping out with the research, of course the MLG Avocado slash Biff Weed for the script, and additional script help, Larry Winwood, Ethan the Green Jester, Anthony Stallings, and your favorite Canadian YouTuber. Thanks, and enjoy the post analysis.
And Team Indy Horror is our winner, which more importantly means Mama Tattletail gets her first CFC victory. Now let's actually go over why Team Indy Horror could beat Team Creepypasta. And what this fight really boils down to is Zalgo versus SCP-682. I don't think I need to explain why their street tear characters like Mama Baldi, the animatronics, Jeff the Killer, etc. wouldn't really make a difference in the fight. Even multiversal threats like Air Sands wouldn't make much of a difference if we had Zalgo and 682 in their absolute best. And of course the animation wasn't a simulation, characters like 66 weren't factually represented, I even spoke with the creator of 66, so don't take that animation seriously. So with all that in mind, let's talk about why Zalgo would lose to SCP-682. 682 did have one big advantage over Zalgo, however, that was his immunity to basically anything Zalgo could send his way. Zalgo can consume souls, well, 682 is immune to soul manipulation. Zalgo can possess people, 682 is immune to possession. Zalgo can mentally torture you, 682 is immune to mind manipulation. Zalgo can physically consume plot, 682 is immune to plot manipulation. Zalgo can physically manipulate and rot the body, whoever he pleases, 682 is immune to transmutation and biological manipulation. But while that did give SCP-682 a counter for any of Zalgo's hexes that could have taken it out in the fight, it didn't exactly change the fact that it had no real way to put Zalgo down. So it came down to everyone's favorite game, can I battlefield remove Zalgo before he Battlefield removes me. Except with 6A2, it doesn't even matter if 6A2 can do it first because surprise, surprise, it's immune to Battlefield removal as well. And even if Zalgo does get past that immunity, 6A2 has dimensional traveling abilities that could easily bring it back into the fight. So can SCP 6A2 BFR Zalgo? While dimensional trapping isn't a power 6A2 has displayed, dimensional travel is. 6A2 could eventually get a hold of Zalgo, transport both of them to another dimension, and return to the fight without him. Would it be a first resort? Probably not, but the 6A2 is a very intelligent creature. When every other trick fails to kill Zalgo, it would realize that that would be the only way to get rid of him. So while the creepypastas, especially Zalgo, would offer a very good and hard fought battle against Team Indie Horror, they lack any real way to put down SCP-682. The only one with a fighting chance would be Zalgo. And while it wouldn't be a hard fought battle since neither can kill each other, 6A2's immunity to any of Zalgo's game-changing hacks meant the creepypastas didn't have any reliable way to win. And even if they could beat 6A2, there would still be Mama Tattletale to win, which none of the creepypastas stand any realistic chance again, making the winner of this battle Team Indie Horror. Now, if you want to see a rematch without Zalgo and 6A2 so we can give the other characters a chance to make a difference in the outcome, just leave a like on this video. If this video reaches 10,000 likes, there will be a rematch. Don't forget to comment down your own ideas and stay tuned as the next fighters are going to be revealed on the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. What? Oh.